good food, good company, and a good fire. Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well, today I'm in Idaho. Why am I here? Well, staying another couple days before my welder can see me. Hell, he got uh, behind on a project. He says, Kevin, it's going to have to be two or three more days before I can get that hitch welded for you for your motorcycle. I said, no problem. Told my buddy JD. He says, no problem. He said, let's go camping. <laughs> I said, I go camping every day. He says, I don't. So we're going to head off to one of his old campgrounds somewhere between Idaho City and I think they call it Lamont. I'll get it right. But hang on. Hey, won't y'all go with us? <laughs> All right. I got all my window blinds up. I got the motorcycle strapped down. Sure, I'm forgetting something. Go around and do a safety check. We're headed. We're out of here. Get me, get me this gypsy all warmed up. Tucker, you lit me in the hand. It's because I love you. Gross. Gross. Ooh. It'll be all right. Just, shh, just go with it. You monkey. I had planned to go to the grocery store today. It's slim pickings. And we're going the opposite direction of the grocery store. So it looks like I'm gonna have to get into this freezer. It is getting kind of thin. I can make it a day or so. Get this thing back on down the hill. I'll make it down the road. I'll let them catch up with me. Not too easy getting out of here. Just got on the little dirt road up here to JD's house. And when I say little, you mean little dirt road, right? That's exactly, Tuck. I looked up on the hill and I saw them getting in their Class C. It's fun camping with friends. It makes it a whole lot better. I have a fear of meeting somebody on this road. Oh, my, my camera fell. But I have a fear of meeting somebody on this road. Where am I going to turn around at? I'll sit here and wait for them. I drug up motorcycle carrier twice. You know you can't stay there, right? I don't know. You don't know? Oh, I know. I know. But you don't know. He'll get down when we get to going. I'm low on gas, low on groceries. 54,000 miles. How many miles did this thing have on it when I got it six months ago? 46? 47? Oh, yeah. But it's, it's a lemon, right? <laughs> this thing's run like a scalded dog. This is air conditioner is giving me fits. Like rabies fits? No, Tucker. What a horrible thing to say. Where's your mind at? You got a shot for that? Yeah, I know. And you got one, and Martini got one, and Baby May May got one. That's why I don't have to get one. It don't seem fair. So my my friend Bill, we traveled for many, many years together. Uh, after I bought his business, uh, 
He took me around to some of his clients. He showed me how to make it, how to make it work, and how to do it, how to live on the road, how to travel on the road. He was a trucker for many years. But uh, I'll tell you a little story right quick. His uh, his favorite movie was uh, Smokey and the Bandit. Getting on the CB this morning with JD made me think about it. He loved Smokey and the Bandit, and they filmed some of that up in North Georgia some of the chase scenes and stuff so I'm 18 19 year old traveling with Bill and Bill he, he had a bunch of nicknames for me but his favorite nickname for me was Fred Fred Here comes JD I said Bill why you call me Fred he says I call everybody Fred and I didn't think no more about it so we're always traveling he and only when we were on the road, like, going places, did he call me Fred. Here comes up. And uh, so, one night I got a DVD of Smokey and the Bandit, because I know he wanted, he liked it, and he hadn't seen it in many years. And that, uh, that dog in that uh, transfer truck. <laughs> Uh, he was a basset hound, and his name was Fred. And uh, let's start moving forward. And it dawned on me, <laughs> with us traveling together, he was calling me that basset hound Fred. When it got in the lake, and the, uh, what's his name, couldn't get him back to the truck. <laughs> For 20 years. And when I, <laughs> and when I realized it, Bill was sitting right in front of me. And I started talking about it and I looked at Bill and his face was about three shades of red and he was laughing, doing all he could to keep it from busting out laughing. And I said, Bill, you've been calling me that dog for 20 years. And he busted out laughing and crying. And we both got to laughing and crying so hard. We got all choked up and coughing. We laughed for 10 minutes. True story. Call me Fred, that old dog, that old basset hound, Smokey and the Bandit. Eastbound down. Da -da 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 -da. We're gonna do what they say can't be done. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. We're eastbound. Come on, Bandit, run. Me and songs ain't getting along too good lately. Me and lyrics, anyway. <laughs> Here they come. Oh man, he just got dirt all over that 1985. Here we go. in here to Idaho City. I'm going to get some groceries and get some gas. JD said he had to get some small propane tank bottles. They got a hardware store. Not much of one. And a grocery store. Hadn't been inside of it. Then the gas station. I saw a sign. It said population 458. It's 25 miles an hour through town, and they mean it. There's a grocery store right here. Idaho City Grocery, established 1952. You babies are gonna to have to stay here. I turn on the camera and baby may may split. I'm right here. I'm right here. That's a good baby. Oh, I poked the baby in the eye. I'm sorry. Y'all stay right here. I'm gonna get us some vittles, some groceries. 
Old country store. What nice people in that store. Very nice. They cut their own meat there. So I got me, JD, and Lisa some steak. Mm-mm. Look at the looky looky. Forty bucks, thirty-eight dollars, but look at those steaks. Beautiful. Pretty. Little Ford truck, four wheel drive. Need it up here. All the snow they got. There's Trudy's kitchen. That's where I had the hamburger of a fish and chips the other day. Went back and had the hamburger. I think it's the best hamburger of my life. No kidding. We are at the Boise National Forest. I believe that the campground was called Whoop 'em Up. Couldn't get my camera on fast enough. JD's got a favorite camping spot over here. Yep, I said it right. Whoop 'em up campground. Uh, JD's favorite campgrounds. I think we saw some prettier stuff coming in. This forest has burned much of it. But if he likes it, I like it. Be good enough. Martini's doing a little dash riding today. Don't see her up there much. Some water. Where did JD go? He's right behind you. Dingleberry. You gonna cut that out, right? I'm almost level. Just gotta pull up one high on my Camco tri-levelers. Not too far from JD and Lisa. This little log cabin outhouse. We'll take a look at it in a minute. I got a picnic table and a fire ring and a lantern holder. Burn forest. I put $100 in the gas tank. I had over a quarter, but it didn't even give, even give me three quarters of a tank. All right, got her just like a light. Hey, come on. They, they know where they're at. Baby Maymays. I, I know they're over there. <laughs> Tucker, you got a hundred trees to pee on. Let's go see them. Yeah, who's, who's got you, baby May Mays? Say, Lisa's got me. I got us some steak. Maybe Martini won't get to lick these. <laughs> Copy on your tire. In Shemes. <laughs> so, so what's so special about this campsite, this campground? Yeah, just like it. It's, it's close to everything we do. Uh huh. When we come up to ride and play, it's kind of central to everything. I got gotcha. you. Let's go look at this little bathroom. Little log cabin bathroom. Guess you could say a little bathroom made out of logs. <laughs> Cleaner than I expected. One high on the trial levelers got us perfect. You, rem you remember those steaks that we got earlier up there at the little uh, grocery store? Well, my cousin, his name is Glenn. 
he started watching the show. I didn't tell many people I knew that I had a YouTube channel, but uh, he found out and he started watching and then uh, he started calling me and talking about my videos and whatnot. But he said that he was friends with a man that's made this uh, spice, this rub. He says, it's just extraordinary. He says, Kevin, let me get him to send you some. I said, okay. He says, if you would put it on your channel, it's a real nice guy trying to get his business off the ground. So never have tried it before, but I thought I'd give it a whirl. So here we go. It's called Cedar Key Spice Company. Original garlic, herb, and key spice. And it can be purchased at www.cedarkeyspice.com. He said it's better than Tony Cashery's. It's better than any of them. I said, okay, this is the only spice you will ever need in your kitchen cabinet. Meats, poultry, seafood, marinades, vegetables, cedarkeyspice.com. Okay, well, if I like it, I'll tell you I like it. If I like it a lot, I'll tell you I like it a lot. If I don't like it, I'll tell you that too. But I'm going to put some on these ribeyes and let it marinate all day. And uh, tonight... We'll cook these steaks up. I hope it's good <laughs> because they wasn't cheap. But they're pretty. Let me get this on here. I got it open. Kind of smells sweet and garlicky. Hmm. Look how thick these steaks are. Goodness gracious. Okay, I'm going to rub that in, and we'll know tonight whether it's any good. Cedar Key Spice, Cedar Key Spice Company. You know, we're going to get turned into the vegetarian police. So? Yeah, I brought, the, I brought the barbecue sauce. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Yeah, good job. Isn't that pretty? Mm -mm. Huge. I got the second helping of uh, potatoes cooking right now. So, yeah, I got something for those vegetarian police, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not touching that. <laughs> no, 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 no. So we got a fire going already. Okay, we got all the potatoes cooked and the garlic bread biscuits. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. I'd like mine a little bit more done there, JD. <laughs> Dang. You want me to murder it for you? Please. All right. I got it. Okay, my steaks are done. Where are y'all's? <laughs> oh, I thought those were mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm just eating potatoes. They're mine. Potatoes. Yeah. All right. half a cow. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Didn't have garlic bread, so I had to improvise, JD. And got potatoes right here. There we go. JD and Lisa, I sure appreciate you inviting me and taking me to your favorite camping spot. Okay, steak man, steak connoisseur. Mm. What do you think of the um, cedar key spice that put on there? It's pretty good. It's pretty good? Pretty good. It laid some more on, but it's very, very tasty. Good deal. You like it, Miss Lisa? <laughs> yes. I put I put it in the potatoes and I put it in the butter and the garlic for the the, the garlic bread biscuits, whatever we're gonna call them, cheese biscuits. I think it's got a good flavor. It's not too overpowering. It's it's tasty. 
Okay, well that's going to make my little video. Appreciate you guys tagging along with us today. Hope you had fun. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Good food, good company, and a good fire. Good food, good meat. Good job, let's eat. Oh, we already did. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin, for that wonderful steak. No problem. <laughs>